Hey guys, welcome to ITS Tactical. Today we're going to be tying a quick release paracord bracelet and essentially what this is is a chain sense. So if you're familiar with um, using an electrical cord and making a chain sense out, out of it for a quick release to get to your electrical cords and things like that, that's kind of the same concept. Um, as you can see, we'll, we'll zoom in in a second, but it, it mimics a Solomon bar paracord bracelet just like all the common paracord bracelets you see out there. So uh, let's get right into it and we'll show you how to make it. Okay, so what we've got here is a quick release paracord bracelet that I've already tied. And one of the reasons I left it with the excess hanging off of it because I kind of wanted to show you one was uh, the length that I'm working with. So essentially I started off with 12 feet of paracord and this is roughly a little bit over two feet left over. So in this bracelet, um, it'll give you about 10 feet of paracord, which is kind of what I wanted to to illustrate there and also for the reason of showing you how it works before we tie it. So the way that we're going to tie it, you're left over with this piece here and I'll show you how to secure that in a second. But to quick release it, I will show that first just so everyone at home can know whether you want to mess around with tying one of these or not. But once you get this untied, all you have to do is untie about three places and it comes right apart. So let me show you how to tie this thing and we'll start from there. So as you can see on this end it's girth hitched so you want to start with a girth hitch um, right on that portion of the paracord bracelet and of course you want to weave this through the the secondary part of the buckle and then what you're going to do is a test fit, basically taking it like this and kind of sizing it up to see where it's going to fit you at. So once you get it buckled in, you're basically going to do something like that and hold it there. So that's where you're going to start your bracelet at. So the first step in this is going to be to that on the right side. So make sure you're starting with what the top is going to be here. So this is essentially going to be the top. And you're going to have two cords here. So I'm going to knock those out to the side. And essentially, like I was saying earlier, it's, it's basically a chain sinnet. So if you've ever worked with a chain sinnet, it's kind of a series of interlocking loops. So that's what we're going to start making here. So you got to pay particular attention to the direction you thread these loops through each other. Um, because that really makes a difference. So the first step is going to be either the right or the left. You have to kind of pick which way you're going to start from. But I like starting from the right. So you're going to make a loop like so. You're going to kind of hold it still here with your thumb. And you're going to come through the top of this loop like so. And you can kind of pull this a little bit to lock it off. Um, just like a traditional Solomon bar paracord bracelet you need to kind of tighten as you go and you'll see me do that here. So since we went over the top with the right we're going to come around the back with the left like so. And instead of coming through the top with this next loop like that we're going to come through the back side like this. And once you have that kind of in position there you can pull the other side here to kind of tighten that up. So you can see I'm sliding it down and I'll tug on that other side to kind of tighten it up. So since the last one went around the back, we'll go around the front with this one. And again through the top with this loop. Again tighten it up. I'm kind of sliding down as I go. So as you're starting to create this, you'll see where you can kind of pull to gain slack on one side versus the other. I'll try doing it like this a little bit too so you can see it from this angle too. Make sure I don't mess it up doing it backwards here. So anyway, now that you've come to the back here, you're going to make another loop. Come from the back side. And this one will come over the front. Tighten it up. Sliding down. And you can start to see that Solomon bar paracord pattern emerge from what you're doing here. 
So the next step is going to be coming through the front with a loop, just like so, around the back, and again through the back with this side of the loop. So we'll tighten that up a little bit. So I'll finish this one up, and then what I'm going to do is cut away for a little bit, and I'm going to finish this out, because I know you don't want to sit here through me tying the whole thing, but hopefully you guys have got the concept down. So essentially we'll leave off right there. I'll keep weaving all the way up and I'll get to the end up here and I'll kind of show you how to secure this. Okay, you'll see that we've now stopped. We've uh, gotten through the rest of our weaving and we're at a stopping point now towards the end of the buckle. So what we're gonna do is um, we stopped basically with the portion that was supposed to tuck behind. So I wanted to show you that. It's gonna tuck behind like this. And instead of coming from the backside like this, like we would normally do, um, we're just going to keep pulling that through. So we'll tighten that up a little bit on this side. And what I'm going to do with that is essentially snake it through now. That'll come through the buckle. Just like that. And this side as well. I'm going to scoot this over and that will come through the buckle as well. So that's what you're left with on this side, just like that. And you'll see that on the back here, we've got our two strands that come through. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of open up this loop right here, and we're going to feed these through. Just like this. And you can kind of tweak this and tighten it up a little bit as you need to. But now what you're left with is this kind of double strand here. And again, like I said in the beginning, this, is, this was 12 feet of paracord. We're probably left with about 10 right now, um, based on my wrist size. What we're going to do is trim this off here. And it's up to you how you want to kind of terminate this. Um, since I want this to be a quick release kind of paracord bracelet, what I'm going to do is actually melt the two ends almost together like that. I'm actually going to kind of leave it hanging here. I don't want to melt them too much together because then I won't be able to break them apart once we, um, once this turns into a quick release. So that's essentially it. Um, that on my wrist here and show you how that looks. So there we have our quick release paracord bracelet. So thanks for watching ITS Tactical's Knot of the Week. Let me know in the comments. Let us know if you have any questions and we'll be sure to get back to you. Thanks for watching.